Malari Cube is a very simple visual tool that flips and folds through seven different panels that explains what malaria is, what malaria is not, and then about how to prevent malaria. Malaria Cube was developed by E3 partners in conjunction with CDC and with feedback from World Vision. After the development of Malaria Cube, the relationship with World Vision continued to grow. We then saw a need for a pilot project to test and measure the effectiveness of Malaria Cube in the field. Earlier this year, phase one of the pilot project was initiated in Katali, Kenya, with the ultimate goal of improving the use of bed nets as the primary method of preventing malaria and saving lives. We got to Nairobi and were able to go by the uh, national office there and uh, meet the key staff and leaders along with the national director who were extremely hospitable. Right off the bat, it set the tone for the whole week. Many people did not know exactly what a malaria cube was. As we started demonstrating the malaria cube, they got excited, they got very involved, and started thinking almost automatically about how the malaria cube would be integrated into their particular work environments and in cultural influence. The malaria cube is a very interesting mode of um, approaching communities uh, because it's a model and um, it is user-friendly. We have uh, children will be able to understand, adults will be able to under understand uh, what causes malaria, how to prevent, how to take care of themselves. Uh, even the old people are able to uh, get the message uh, very effectively. We've done a lot of different trainings, literally all over the world. This was the most comprehensive group that I've ever seen put together. The group consisted of ministers of health and their people, consisted of ministers of education, the Catholic Church, the Evangelical Church, and other um, organizations and ministries were represented. It was quite incredible the scope of people that were represented there. What did you like? On day three, we had uh, a great opportunity to do some field visits, and we were visiting community health environments. And so we were visiting with a young man there in the hospital who had just been diagnosed a few hours earlier with malaria. And this particular um, individual knew that malaria was caused by the mosquito bite. Then we asked him, do you have a bed net? And he ducked his head a little bit, and he said, I do. It became very clear very quickly that some people do have bed nets and they're not using them. They're using them for things other than what they were intended for, like fishing. Probably one of the more exciting things that came out of the week was every single one of the leaders were convinced that Malaria Cube was going to be able to take the communication of malaria facts to the next level. This Malaria Cube is the most interesting tool that I have ever seen. It is an IC tool that is going to bring change to this community. Most of the tools that you have previously used have English words in English or in a language that the community cannot understand. And a good proportion of people in this pilot area are illiterate. They don't know how to read, they don't know how to write. Larry Cube has no words on it, so it can be translated directly into the local language as you're speaking. They've not been able to do that in the past. After a great week of training, all participants were greatly encouraged that Malaria Cube will increase the proper use of and care of bed nets that are being distributed. We believe that with this cube, things are going to be very simple and we want to appreciate for those, all those people who came up with this brilliant idea and we believe it is going to transform the lives of this community. Overall, this phase has provided a better understanding of the work being done and ultimately eradication of malaria. World Vision provided such a great opportunity to work with such a diverse group of people and organizations ranging from government agencies to partner ministries. The training and field testing in this first phase went well beyond expectations. Trainers and participants agreed on a scale of 1 to 10, this malaria cube training was a 12. 
To see these groups come together and be excited to work hand in hand at reaching their communities, two vital points emerge. Number one, the Malaria Cube is a very simple tool that clearly communicates the causes, treatment, and prevention of malaria, breaking through all language barriers. Secondly, and most importantly, Malaria Cube and its message will help transform communities and save lives.